Evening YouTube, it's Saturday. Uh, wife and I just got back from about seven hours on the motorcycles. It's 37 degrees out there. Went a few hundred miles and uh, got a little cold. Kind of a mess out there. I'm smoking my Missouri Meerschaum Cobb again. Whoever it was that said that uh, if you don't like getting a briar, try it in a cob was sure right. I know uh, Hillman was talking about it the other day in a video I saw that was years old. <laughs> and uh, it is cold out here. So I have some uh, Seattle Pipe Club Potlatch, I didn't really care for it, but it goes really well on the cob, so no money wasted there, I guess. Yeah, we took off today and we were going to go over to the coast yeah, because it was beautiful, this more blue sky, sunshine, it was still, you know, like 50 degrees or something. and. Uh, then I ended up getting called into work for a little bit. I've been on call since eh, 1983. Kind of used to it, but I still don't enjoy it. Getting too old to go to work all the time. Anyway, so she came and met me there. And by then, we were the other direction. And so we ended up going north. and east and north and east little chunk of cedar here ended up <clears throat> we've got a road that we really like if we're going up north towards Portland uh, uh, winds through a bunch of little towns and never any traffic everybody either takes the interstate or the two old highways that used to be what passed for an interstate and they leave the the far out ones alone because everybody's in a stinking hurry these days and uh, so we always ride up there and we stopped in a little town called Sio and there's a restaurant there and we've always just kind of blazed through Sio. It's always on our way to someplace else. One of those cool places. We stopped at a little restaurant that we've always driven by. It's called uh, the Covered Bridge Restaurant. There's tons of covered bridges around here. And uh, that little town has, I think it was six, just right in the vicinity. And uh, Nice little place, you know, like there is in a little town. It's it's uh, an ice cream parlor and a bakery and a coffee shop and a really good restaurant. So we're going to plan on stopping there uh, a lot more. I, I, had a, I had a little cup of clam chowder, which was pretty good, and, uh, and a BLT. You can't mess up a BLT, really. And my wife had a... Uh, cinnamon roll uh, it was probably three inches high and a six inches square on each side uh, pretty substantial uh, I got a little piece of it so it was good then we wandered up through uh, well it left Sio went to uh, uh, Staten Sublimity Silverton uh, Silverton is where Silver Falls are uh, all nice old towns. There was a lot of for Oregon old, and uh, lots of lots of brick up there. They built big brickworks to do all the universities and colleges, and so everything up in the upper Willamette Valley uh, around Salem is brick. Uh, and, uh, just awesome old towns. People are you know losing their 
losing their life savings, trying to revitalize them and trying to get business going, but always a good place to stop for a, a coffee or something unusual. Went on up there and somewhere along the line, my wife's part of my wife's gear shift lever fell off at Saharley. And uh, so fortunately we were 20 minutes from closing and and 10 miles away so we made it to the Harley shop and they took care of her and of course you know she couldn't get out of there with just a just a rear shift peg she had got a new pair of boots too and something else I, I didn't look so to, they could have given her a motorcycle and still come out money ahead on all the other stuff so and then we came came back home uh, you know, or 80 miles away, <clears throat> and the the U of O and Oregon State had both had home games today that apparently got out at the same time. Bad planning, and uh, so everybody was headed. You know, all the alumni headed up back up to Portland, and I-5, the highway was just stopped, and. Uh, Southbound traffic was starting to back up in Salem, 60 miles away, and we were doing like 50. And of course, I know all the side roads. That's why I'm the road captain. I know where every place to eat and all the roads are. And uh, so we came down, stopped, saw some friends, and just rolled in. It's about seven o'clock. Uh, I'm freezing. I still got. I didn't really bundle up. Got a layer of polypropylene, and uh, this leather jacket is just a shirt, really. So, came in here in the garage, and I turned on the heater, but it made too much noise for the video. So, I'm starting to warm up a little bit. Wife, I think, is freezing, but she's got uh, she's got heated gear, and so she's still doing good. Anyway, wanted to check in and. Uh, tell everybody slow down all these people in a hurry uh, today there's a wreck on on i-5 northbound and we're coming down the side road and we can see them stopped on the highway 30 degree 37 degrees everybody's just going to be sitting there wasting gas and getting mad everybody's in a hurry all the time i don't know getting too old i guess i don't like to hurry i don't like to run around like that well taking too much of your time already I appreciate it and uh, hope you all have a great weekend God bless